Hi, and welcome back to the Business Career College video series. Uh, in this video, I'm going to do a little bit of Excel work, always a bit terrifying, uh, but we'll see what uh, we get here. The uh, thing that uh, motivated me to do this is I'm trying to build uh, an Excel spreadsheet to solve a particular uh, financial planning problem. And in order to do that, I have to work with uh, varying tax rates and I could use an online calculator. And I've previously built uh, tax rate calculators in Excel, but I've always found them very unwieldy. I'm not that proficient with Excel, uh, but I did uh, recently discover a method of building a tax rate calculator that's actually uh, pretty handy. Uh, it's still a little bit of technical knowledge that's required, but I'm going to show everything in this uh, video. So the first thing we're going to do You'll see on the screen right now, I have, I'm going to start with the federal tax rates. I have my federal tax rates for 2019 open, and I will share this link. It's uh, really easy. It's the Government of Canada website, but uh, nevertheless, I'll, I'll share this link in the uh, notes for this video. Um, so we have uh, the tax rates and the dollar amounts all provided for us here. And I'm going to add one more thing. I'll show you that uh, momentarily. Uh, but we're going to build this out into a three uh, column little table here. So we're going to build in our first column, we're going to put incomes. And I'm going to start with zero. Now, next we're going to put the basic personal exemption, which you don't see on this tax rate, but uh, I happen to know for. Uh, 2019 is $12,069. Now I'm going to do something a little bit uh, fancy here, which I'll explain momentarily. And just do this like so. And that's going to allow me to build some indexing in. We'll see that uh, right away. And then our uh, next is going to be what's actually the first federal tax bracket, uh, 47,360. I'm gonna do the same thing here. Gonna build a little formula. And same thing, referring to cell uh, B10. So I have essentially the same formula in both of those cells. I'm just gonna copy that formula over so that I don't have to type it out every time. And our next is going to be the uh, next tax bracket, which brings us up to uh, 95,259. Uh, and then the next tax bracket, which brings us up to 147,667. I'm just doing uh, control V to copy that formula into that cell. And uh, finally, and the same thing here, 210,371. And again, times that same formula. So in B10, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to build my uh, indexing factor here. Now, that'll currently be zero, but what this will let me do is uh, next year, let's say for the sake of argument that our tax rates all increase by 1.9%, and that's information I can easily get from the Government of Canada and will uh, sometime in late November, early December. So if it's 1.9% indexing, I don't have to go back and rewrite the whole table. I just have to change that value. Uh, and then I'm going to make all of these into currency. Uh, for whatever reason, I'm partial to uh, currency format here. So we'll just uh, format that as currency with no decimal places. I don't need any decimal places there. And then I'm going to uh, copy that over. I'm just going to grab my paintbrush here and format all the cells like so. And then I'm going to build the tax rates here. So this column will feature the tax rates. And again, I'm going to uh, make this uh, percentages. These will all be percents. And so my first is going to be the 0% tax rate, obviously, and then the first tax rate federally is 15%. We can see that on the table. The next tax rate federally is 20.5%. Uh, the next tax rate federally is uh, 26%. And then 
29%, and finally 33%. Uh, I'm going to just give myself one more decimal place here because the 20.5% uh, tax rate needs it. And now is where we're going to get a little bit fancy. So I'm going to uh, build a formula to calculate the taxes for the taxes that happen within each of these tax brackets. So basically what I want here is I want to know how much tax would be payable on income from 147 up to 210. So I'm going to build a little formula here where I will open up a bracket, put the uh, 210 in there, subtract the 147. That'll give me the uh, difference between those two amounts. And I know that is the 29% tax bracket. And then what I want to do is subtract any tax payable at the lower tax rate. Now, I know I know I have nothing in uh, B6 yet, but that's okay. I'll have something in there right away. So this is telling me that on income between uh, one, or 147 to 10 up to um, 210,371, sorry, between 147,667 up to $210,371 of income uh, at the 29% tax bracket that I'll have $18,184 of tax. Sorry, I have, I actually wanna do that differently. I wanna do plus, I wanna do that plus, there we go. So that will give me the total tax uh, in that uh, scenario. So if I just take that formula and copy it most of the way up the page here, I'm okay, so that's now telling me that for somebody who makes exactly $210,371, their tax burden federally would be $46,923, or for somebody who makes 100, and, or sorry, who makes 95, no, I apologize, 147,667, uh, their tax burden will be 28,379. That would be the sum total of taxes payable in all the tax brackets up to that 28,739. I'm going to manually put a zero in this top one. If I put anything other than zero in there, it will give me an error. So that's my uh, first sheet uh, built out. And I'm just gonna name the sheet here. And I'm going to name it as uh, federal rates. And the other thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to uh, highlight all these cells. I've got them all highlighted now, and I'll need this later on for the math we're gonna do. I'm going to right click here, and I'm going to uh, define a name for these cells. This is something I had never previously done, but uh, it's pretty neat actually. So we'll call that federal tax. And it tells us that for the whole workbook, uh, these named cells are by the shortcut federal tax. So what that does is it saves you from having to go and select all of those cells every time you want to use them in a formula. And I'll show you later on where that's uh, super efficient. So that's good. And then I'm going to uh, build a very similar sheet here and we'll do the same thing. We have our income and tax and rates. Uh, but this time I'm going to do provincial taxes. So we're going to use uh, British Columbia, uh, just for the sake of argument. BC is the worst province for this, honestly, just because it has uh, more tax rates than any other jurisdiction. Uh, BC has uh, five different marginal tax brackets, and one of them is tiny. So you have uh, the basic personal amount, which I pulled from uh, taxtips.ca here. Also, if you need it, that's the federal basic personal amount, the uh, 2019 basic amount. So we'll just plug in here 10,682. Uh, and then we'll just work through the BC tax rates. And I've already done the math. I've cheated a little bit here. Uh, so we know the first tax bracket is 40,707. Oh, I should do what I did on the last page, shouldn't I? And we'll just insert a zero here. And then we'll do the same thing. We'll make this equals uh, 10,682 times 
one plus B10 just to take care of that same indexing issue so I don't have to worry about indexing those amounts. And then same thing here. And we'll do equals. And again, we'll think about indexing here. And then we'll do again the same thing here. The next tax bracket in BC is uh, going to push us up to 81,416. And again, we'll plug that formula in. Uh, the next tax bracket in BC takes us up to 93,476, just a tiny little sort of weird tax bracket there. And again, the same thing. We'll plug in our little formula here. And then we go up to 113,506. And uh, finally, uh, 153,900. And then I'll just... Uh, put our indexing in here and we'll leave that at zero. Uh, but if it were something other than zero, that's uh, going to adjust for us automatically now. And if I again do whatever 2%, I should see all those numbers bump up by 2%, but we'll leave it at zero. And then the other thing we'll do is we will grab all of these cells. We'll make them into currency format. So I can just do that up here and currency and no thanks to the decimal places. There we go. So now I have a, a similar look and feel to both pages and I might as well just make my tax rates as percentages here right now as well. Uh, so my rates will be uh, zero and then 5.06 BC uh, has quite uh, detailed tax rates. Sorry, I want 5.06 in there. Thanks, Excel. And then 7.7, 10.5, 12.5, 13.5, 14.5, 16.5, 18.5, 19.5, 20.5, 21.5, 22.5, 23.5, 24.5, 25.5, 26.5, 27.5, 28.5, 29.5, 30.5, 31.5, 32.5, 33.5, 34.5, 35.5, 36.5, 37.5, 38.5, 39.5, 40.5, 41.5, 42.5, 43.5, 44.5, 45.5, 46.5, 47.5, 48.5, 49.5, 50.5, 51.5, 52.5, 53.5, 54.5, 55.5, 56.5, 57.5, 58.5, 59.5, 60.5, 61.5, 62.5, 63.5, 64.5, 65.5, 66.5, 67.5, 68.5, 69.5, 70.5, 71.5, 72.5, 73.5, 74.5, 75.5, 76.5, 77.5, 78.5, 79.5, 80.5, 81.5, 82.5, 83.5, 84.5, 85.5, 86.5, 87.5, 88.5, 89.5, 90.5, 91.5, 92.5, 93.5, 94.5, 95.5, 96.5, 97.5, 98.5, 99.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.
a table. Now, the first thing that I have to tell it here, you can see the little formula says look up value. So that's the value that Excel is going to cross reference. In this case, we've got uh, 90,000. So Excel, when I tell it where to look, will use 90,000 as its base. The table array, that's the table we're going to use, and that's going to be our federal tax table. And you can see what's going to happen here is Excel says, hey, you've actually, I started typing federal, and Excel says, you've got a, a, a named table called federal tax. Do you want to use that one? I say, thank you very much, Excel. I will. And then we want to figure out within that array, which column index do we want to use. And I want to use the second one, and I'll show you why right away. And then I'm going to use the true value here. This is not a big deal for this purpose. Um, because I will be okay either way, but uh, true just means it's going to be a precise, or it's going to um, use the sort of closest good number. So we'll close that out. We're not done with this formula, but I will show you what happens here. So what it's done, it's said, okay, at $90,000, we're going to look for that on that uh, federal table that you just built for us. So let's pop over to the federal table and see the 90,000 and the 5294. So it said, okay, 90,000, what's the next number that would be less than 90,000? So it goes into column one. Remember we set that, or sorry, we, we set it so that it's using the variable from uh, column two. This is column two. This would be column one. This would be column two. This would be column three. And it says, okay. If we went to 90,000, we'd be at 15,313, but you don't want me to go to go all the way to 90,000. You only want me to go to the number before that. So from 47,360, I'm going to pull the information from column to its index. That's really what it's done here is it's indexed from the 47,360 and it's pulled the 5,294. So right now on this sheet, we're just saying at the... Uh, next sort of variable amount below that will be 5294. And anything, if I use 75,000, for example, that won't change because it's still in that same index situation. Uh, so now that's good, but what I want to do next is I want to build in a uh, calculation now that will look at the tax payable from the bottom tax bracket, that roughly $47,000 tax bracket, up to $75,000. And we're going to again use VLOOKUP here. And the VLOOKUP this time is going to be based on again B2. So I still want to use the $75,000. And again, the table array is going to be that federal tax table array. The column index this time, we're going to use the marginal tax rate. I could do this in a different order, but we use the marginal tax rate. And again, I'm okay if we're just sort of close. And I want to multiply that marginal tax rate by my B2 amount here minus the uh, V lookup amount for the 52, or sorry, for the uh, $47,000 bracket. So, or the bracket that comes before the one that I'm working in here. So I'll do another V lookup. And the lookup value again is B2. And again, the table array is going to be that same federal tax. And then we're going to uh, index this to column two. So that's where it's going to, or sorry, to column one, I apologize, to column one. And that's where it's going to subtract the uh, $75,000 from the next lower number working down that chart or working up that chart if you look at it. And again, we'll make that true. So it'll make a, an approximate and we'll close out our bracket. So now we should have a calculation of our federal tax. And I'm just going to reduce my decimal places here. I don't really care about the decimal places. So now, Excel is saying, hey, good, we've got you here. Sorry, my uh, currency is what I want. And I should put the dollar sign in there. Okay, so it says, 
If you make $75,000, your federal tax burden is going to be $10,960. And all we did was we built this formula just using three different V lookups. So I took the base amount of tax at the next lower bracket. And I'll show you this on the other sheet in a second here. And then I added a calculation where we are actually multiplying the uh, the third or the tax bracket, that's that third row, uh, times the income we have minus the income at the next lower bracket. So Excel said, yeah, I get what you want me to do here. It said, if I have more than 47,360, I know that the base tax, you can't be less than 5,294. And then take the 75. So it just takes the difference between 75 and the 47,360 uh, times that 26% tax bracket. So I'm oh, sorry, times the 20 and a half percent tax bracket, my error. And that's a, a little bit of a difficult calculation. I get all of that, but it did work. We can see that this does give us our uh, federal tax payable. And you can confirm it if you want. You can actually just pop back here and you can manually do the math or get Excel to do the math for you to confirm that. So then we'll do the same thing for our uh, BC taxes. And we'll write the formula out. I could uh, mostly copy and paste here, but we're going to write it out again just so that we can see how it works. So again, I'm going to start with a VLOOKUP. I'm just going to edit in the formula bar here uh, so that Excel gives me my formula. So once again, we're going to use B2. That's our reference number table array. This time we're going to use our BC rates. I can type it in like that. I don't have to select that little uh, uh, cell down there. And we're going to use column two here. I want the tax amount. And then we're going to say true. So now I know we're not done yet, but we can see that uh, at 75,000, if I change it up to say 140,000, uh, does that change everything? That's usually a good sign. So I go to 140 and 83, 82. I'll just check that on the BC table. And there it is. If I'm at uh, anything over 113, I know my tax to that point will have been 8382. Good to go. And then we're going to add the tax. We just have to get the tax on the bracket that's not covered in there or in the in the bracket that's not completed in there. And we're going to do another V lookup, of course. And that's going to be B2 and those BC rates again. And this time we're going to refer to column three. Uh, that's the tax rate that we're going to end up multiplying by. And then we're going to uh, multiply that times the difference. We just want to get the difference here, the amount in that bracket, not the amounts in the lower brackets. And again, B2. You'd be sick of hearing B2 and V lookup right away here. And then the table array again, those BC rates. And we're going to use uh, column number one. We want the difference between those two values and then true. And just close out our bracket and there we go. And that is her. We can Format the cells. We can do a total here. I should probably have formatted that cell too. And let's do my total. So excluding any sort of uh, credits, this person would have $39,022 of taxes payable. Uh, the income you'd want to put in here would be your net income. net of any tax deductions, because of course that's the amount you're paying tax on. And we'll just rename that sheet as our tax calculation. And now I can do whatever I need to do uh, beyond this to make this work. So I hope that's helpful. I hope I went uh, at a pace that you could follow. A uh, nice thing is you can uh, pause or flip around or whatever the case is as need be, but I did show all the steps. I didn't skip any steps. 
So you should be able to work through the whole thing. That's what I found when I, uh, when I tried to learn this myself online, I found most of the resources I used uh, skipped a step or two or expected you to draw some conclusions that uh, I honestly wasn't smart enough to do without actually muddling through it on my own. Uh, thanks very much for following along. I hope that some of you find this useful. I'm sure some of you checked out a long time ago, but uh, if you're using Excel to do any of your sort of supplement to your financial planning work, I think you'll find this handy. Uh, thanks very much and enjoy your continued studies.